Hi, this video is about the Animation Painter. It's a brand new feature in PowerPoint 2010 that allows you to quickly and easily replicate animations and apply them to other objects. Take a look at the photos on the right side of this slide. I spent a lot of time formatting them so that they look just right. And now I just want them to enter one by one instead of appearing all at once when I get to this slide. So how am I going to do that? I'll start by selecting the top object. You can see that I've grouped the photo with the text because I want it to behave as a single object when I animate it. So I'll go over to the Animations tab where I find a nice new gallery with a bunch of options. In this case I want it to fly in. Now when I designed the slide I imagined it coming from the left so I'm just gonna switch the direction and to me that looks just a little mechanical so I'm gonna go to this dialog launcher which will give me access to some more advanced effect options such as acceleration, deceleration and a physical bounce effect. In this case I want it to enter quickly and then just slow down a little bit before it reaches its final location so I add a little smooth end about quarter second and let's see how that looks. And to me that looks a lot more natural. So now I just want it to enter automatically when I get to this slide so that I don't have to click anything. So I'll have it enter after previous and now it's all set up. So I could do the same exact thing to these other two objects or I could just use the animation painter and with one click transfer the animation and all the settings. So let's I'm happy with that, so we'll move on to the next example. Alright, on this slide I've got the name of a company, Contoso, and I've written it a bunch of times in different places with different font styles or font sizes, and what I'm really going for here is a nice fluid motion effect where all these words are kind of moving across each other very slowly so that it catches your attention but it's also kind of calming. I'm going to try to achieve that using motion paths. So I'll click on the top object here and I'll apply a line motion path. I want it to move across the slide so I'm going to change the direction to right and I'm not really looking for any acceleration or deceleration so I'm going to move the smooth start and smooth end sliders to zero and now I have a nice constant motion. Alright, I'm also imagining a much slower overall animation so I'm going to change it from 2 seconds to 35 seconds and I'm also going to have it start automatically. Now I'm going to turn off the preview so that my painting experience is a little nicer. So now I'll click the object, double click the painter so that I'm in sticky mode and now is the fun part. So now that everything's painted, I'm just going to shift some of these to move the other direction so that some are moving to the right and some are moving to the left. Now, in this one, I'm going to extend the line a little bit so that it's moving at a slightly different rate. And for this bottom one, that'll be the last one. So let's see how this one looks.